I'll use the fancy tool for the video. <laughs> and what's this exact model? HPV 075. This is probably the most, well, this is the most common one that we do for Lindy. It's very versatile. You can do five or six different controls. You can do a bunch of different things. You can get everywhere from 55 cc's to 280 cc's. From the same pump? No, no, different size pumps, but oh, okay. it's the same series. Parts are interchangeable okay. from size to size, so it's good for a service thing. We're going from an H1P to an E1P. This is hydraulically driven, so you gotta send a hydraulic signal to the side that you want to stroke. That one's done with electric. So the control has got a mechanical linkage that attaches to the cradle. So when you put your hydraulic or electric signal, it strokes it this way and brings the pump on stroke. And then you said rotation change? Yep. What would be the reason? I know left and right, but why, like what application would that matter? It all depends. Like you could have it on an electric motor that's driving right hand, or you can have it on both sides of an electric motor. Some will be right hand, some will be left hand, oh. depending on what your application is. Lindy does a lot of mobile stuff, so depending on if you're at the front of the motor, the back of the motor, if it's coming off of a PTO, if it's coming off of a gearbox, you may need right hand or left hand, depending on which way it's gonna turn it. Okay. So it's a lot easier to change the rotation on this than to try to change the rotation of what you're driving. And how long have you been working on Lindy? Long time. <laughs> Probably 20 something years. I've been doing them so long, I've got most of the specs memorized. I got all the steps memorized. Might not remember what I had for dinner, but I can remember the. <laughs> the <laughs> so you got to watch on these that these are your mechanical neutral shims they don't get switched out because there could be a difference from side to side. You gotta watch your lube tubes. These have to be shimmed to a very precise measurement. Too tight won't work. Too loose won't work. It's gotta be right. And these can be different from side to side, so you gotta make sure that they stay where they are. And to do a uh, rotation change, you have to change the, that's the port plate, right? Yep. Is it because the archwits uh, go the other way? Yep. So this one goes in, comes out. Just doing this so when I turn it upside down, it don't fall out. So basically what I'm doing is, I, this, you don't really need these on here. These are just a safety precaution. It just saves me from getting frustrated and swearing at things if the tube falls when I'm trying to put it back together. Oh, so you're just using that as a weight. Yep. Hooked on to those tubes. Yep. And that just keeps it in place when you put the top housing back on? Yep. So it takes a little bit of an angling to get everything in place.
I'll use the fancy tool for the video. <laughs> Is there a torque spec that's needed? Yep. And you just know it? Yep. Like I said, I've, I've done so many of these, I know that you know, a 12 mil bolt is 89 foot pounds and 14 is 140 and 16 is 200. Okay. Spit no numbers there. So this is the electronic control. Yep. Versus this one's hydraulic. And again, you got to watch because some of the older ones, some of the, when you're Switching between controls, you got to change some parts sometimes, like bolt length. Is that one thicker than this? Actually, this one takes smaller bolts because it is thicker. It's oh. it's weird. All the O-rings are on. Yeah, and even even the controls, you can have 10 different versions of each control. So it's one platform with 10 different uses, right? So depending on what you want. Yeah. So instead of having to keep 10 different controls, you can keep one control that you sell a lot and then the individual parts. But the, like the inside of these guys are different. The insides are all the same. It's just the way it drives like these ones have ports where the hydraulic moves everything these ones have little poppets and stuff where the solenoid pushes down on a spool which changes everything okay and then i just got to change my relief cartridges <laughs> and those are very much interchangeable with everything else. I think there's like 15 to 20 different pressure sizes everywhere from like 200 bar to 400 and something bar. And when you say bar, what does bar stand for? That's a pressure rating. Oh. So one bar is equivalent to 14.5 PSI. One of the fun things where it's, you know, you're changing from metric to standard. Yeah. You know, cubic inches to cc's, liters to gallons, everything else. <laughs> Don't make it easy. This is a charge pump. Again, these are very service friendly too. Changing the rotation, all I gotta do is change the orientation of the plug and the cold start valve. And these, you can, you can get them with an SAE A with the port here or an A adapter here with a coupler. You can get them B, C, pretty much whatever you want if you want to have it for a rear drive. Gonna get a different torque spec? Nope, same, same, same. same. Because it's got the same size bolt, both 12 mil. And that's it. <laughs> Everything tested good. Beginning controls are set within spec. POR valves are kicking in to what Lindy sets there so if the customer doesn't specify anything special. So we got to set to 80%. Number three valve is set by Lindy. It should be good to go. Flow held good. Rotation was correct. Works.